The purpose of this video is to provide parents and pupils with not only an insight into the life of a pupil at the Pony School, but more specifically, to provide information about the preparation and expectations of a scholarship pupil at the school. The school sets high expectations for all its pupils, those who hold a scholarship and those who do not. However, it will place greater demands on those pupils who have set themselves apart with their success in securing an award. During this video, you will hear about the criteria that successful candidates will need to achieve in examinations, auditions or trials for any of our awards. What I would say is summarised by the words of the scholar from Columbia University and the University of Pennsylvania, who later became the first president of Nigeria, Namdi Azakiwe. Ultimately, hard work, perseverance and aptitude are required by every student in every field if they're going to enjoy success. However, for a scholar, it is the thinking beyond the instruction, the ability to be original and a creative approach to what they are learning that will define them. Whether it is in an examination hall, on the sports field, musically or dramatically, we want to see originality and creativity. Paponi School will develop and build on the foundations already built at prep or primary school. We will continue the earlier demands of an holistic approach to education. Your games, your music, your debating and your leadership will sit alongside your academic study. Ultimately, we want our pupils to begin to make their own decisions and to take responsibility for them. It will be towards our scholars that we will look for leadership in whatever area they have earned their reward. Like all good schools, the Pony is responsible for good teaching and providing a good environment that encourages everybody, the able and the less able. Academic scholarships are more than just excellence in examinations. At 13 plus, academic scholars are those who demonstrate a love of learning beyond the classroom. They must be exposed to a wide variety of academic stimuli and be able to create an environment for themselves where they can achieve their full potential. A love of learning is therefore key to their success. Here at Peponi School, we are looking for pupils who demonstrate either a high general ability or exceptional ability in an academic area. The candidate is most likely to be at the very top of their academic cohort and been exposed to material much more diverse academically and ambitious than what is found at either common entrance or equivalent. As part of the scholarship process, candidates sit their academic scholarship papers and participate in interviews conducted by senior teachers. We expect our scholars to be the academic leaders in their year group, not only in terms of their performance, but also in terms of their willingness and desire to read widely and demonstrate a level of intellectual curiosity that inspires and proves infectious to their peers. Top scholars will seek out extracurricular academic activities and opportunities, typically participating in internal academic competitions and challenges external essay competitions, and eventually taking lead in academic interests which are available within school. Academic scholarships and exhibitions are awarded based on the performance in a full range of academic subjects. The highest academic award is the all-round Wangari Madai Academic Scholarship, which is awarded to the scholar who performs to the highest academic level in all academic papers. Other academic scholarships include the Raman Najan Mathematics Scholarship and the Thiongo Modern Languages and Literacy Scholarship. More information on these scholarships can be found on our website. Academic excellence here at Paponi is matched by an excellence within the extracurricular. Our awards provide an opportunity for the child to shine away from the classroom. We have specialist blocks here at Paponi for music, art and drama as well as a wealth of sporting facilities and opportunities. Our scholarships are intended to reward those pupils who demonstrate an excellence in such areas and also evince a determination to be stretched and challenged in their chosen areas of expertise. For all music, art, drama and sports scholarships, candidates will not only show considerable natural ability, they will have begun to reach outstanding levels of performance. They will be expected to be an exemplary ambassador for the school and demonstrate a willingness to contribute fully to the extracurricular and wider life of the pony. 
For sport, 13 plus scholarship candidates will be required to represent the school in their chosen competitive sport on a regular basis and for all three terms. On the day itself, there are two parts to the sports scholarship assessment. Part one is a physical and motor skills assessment for which all candidates' athleticism and aspects of strength and conditioning will be assessed. Part two of the assessment process is a sports specific assessment where each candidate will nominate two major sports they wish to showcase. As a guideline, a successful candidate will be somebody who, as a minimum, demonstrates excellence in regularly representing their school's A or first team in at least two of our major sports. If a candidate is performing at regional, county or international standard, then we would take into account that fact and that this is likely to dominate their participation. For music, there are also two parts to the scholarship process. Part one of the assessment is performance-based. Candidates applying for a music scholarship should prepare a piece on two instruments. Candidates applying for any other award with music, including the music exhibition and the all-rounder, will only need to perform one piece. The pieces may be accompanied or unaccompanied, but must demonstrate a sensitivity and accuracy befitting of a top grade musician. Part two is what we call the quick piece assessment, where in timed conditions, all candidates will be given a short piece of music on their main instrument to look through on the day of the scholarship itself. They will be asked to perform the piece to the best of their ability and as musically as possible, taking note of all performance directions and markings. In assessing the candidate, the Director of Music will ask questions about the nature, character and context of the piece. For drama, Papone School is looking for pupils who are committed to the performing arts and particularly those who show an obvious passion to be part of the dramatic arts. There are also two parts to the scholarship assessment. Part one is performance skills based. Here, pupils learn a monologue of their choice which they must prepare and be ready to perform on the scholarship day itself, off script. They will also take part in a group improvisational workshop led by the head of drama. Part two of the assessment is about attitude and approach. And candidates will be given feedback on their monologue and improvisational performances and will be asked to respond to the direction given. A willingness to experiment and show originality, including perhaps discussion of other performing arts such as dance, will be assessed accordingly. And for our art scholarship, candidates are expected to be a passionate artist with excellent technical ability and an obvious flair for art. They will have demonstrated outstanding proficiency in the use of media, which show creativity and individuality in their style and a versatility in the use of materials, techniques and processes. On the scholarship day itself, there is a practical assessment. Candidates will complete a drawing from observation in time conditions. The composition will be pre-arranged for them and specific instructions will be provided. Candidates will also submit additional drawings on the scholarship day in adherence to a pre-released booklet. They will also submit a portfolio of work completed over the years that demonstrate a commitment and true love for art. For all extracurricular awards, the director of each section here will lead a scholarship interviewing committee who will meet all candidates on a one-to-one -one basis. In addition, candidates will require a reference from their current school specialist and are welcome to provide a portfolio highlighting their achievements and exceptional ability. Key also is for all our sport, music, drama and art scholars to be an individual who other pupils look to as a role model in their arena, showing significant potential with their leadership, communication skills and dedication. We want our scholars to enjoy learning, to enjoy improvement and to enjoy contribution. We want our scholars to enjoy what they do. I will conclude by ending with a quote. Ralph Waldo Emerson believed that scholarship is to be created not by compulsion but by an awakening of a pure interest in knowledge. All scholarships are awarded solely on merit and at the discretion of the headmaster and the scholarship election committee. Scholars who should join Peponi with great pride in their status are expected to provide the school with intellectual and cultural leadership. In return, they can expect to access further opportunity and support in their academics to help them make the most of their talents. 
If you want to sit for a scholarship, then please approach for Pony School using the contacts at the end of this video. We would be happy to help. But I also recommend that you speak to your current school, who will be able to advise you more specifically. I look forward to meeting you.